Hello everyone, it's Cleofa here and welcome to Crafting Shed. For today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this very simple vest. I wear this vest over a summer dress because it's still chilly in the morning when I go to work. And this is lazy open stitch design with very easy to follow crochet pattern. This is made up of two panels of exactly the same pattern. Sew together in the back and it's done. And this is what it looks like in the back or the back view of the vest. So very simple and very quick. And now let's get started. For the materials, I use two skeins of Caron Cotton Cakes yarn. Um, this is 60% cotton, 40% acrylic. One skein is about 530 yards. This is size 4 and this is in infinite blue color. For the crochet hook, I use size J 6mm crochet hook. I also needed a blunt needle, a pair of scissors, markers, and tape measure. Leave a long tail, then let's start with a knot and chain 220. This is now 220 chains. Row 1, double crochet in 6th chain from hook. So let's count from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, six uh, uh, double crochet in this chain. Chain 1, skip the next chain, this one, and double crochet in the next chain. Repeat the pattern, chain 1, skip the next chain, this one, and double crochet in the next chain. This is what it looks like. Repeat, chain 1, skip the next chain, double crochet in the next chain. Chain 1, skip, and double crochet in the next chain. So repeat this pattern across. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the row. I'm here now towards the end of the row, so just continue with the pattern uh, from here. Chain 1, skip the next chain, and double crochet in the next. And then the last repeat, chain 1, skip the next chain and end with double crochet in the last chain. So this is how to end row one and this is what row one looks like. Row two, chain four, one, two, three, four, turn. Skip the next chain one space, so skip this one, and double crochet in the next double crochet right here, or the next stitch. Chain one, skip the next chain one space, this one, and double crochet in the next stitch, or the next double crochet. Repeat, chain one, skip the chain one space, and double crochet in the next double crochet. This is what it looks like. Repeat, chain one, skip the next chain one space, double crochet in the next stitch, or the next double crochet. Chain one, skip, and double crochet. So repeat this pattern across. I'll be cutting off the video, and I'll be back towards the end of the row. I'm here now towards the end of the row. I just did a double crochet. Continue with the pattern, chain one, skip, double crochet in the next stitch or next double crochet chain one skip double crochet then from here do the last repeat to end the row chain one 
skip one chain so skip this chain and double crochet in the next chain right here so this is how to end row 2 and this is what row 2 looks like Row 3, chain 3, 1, 2, 3, turn, skip the next chain 1 space, this one, and double crochet in the next chain 1 space, right here. Chain 3, 1, 2, 3, 3 double crochets on the post that we just did, so this one, this double crochet on this post, three double crochets so like this one two and three this is what it looks like then skip the next chain one space this one skip this one and double crochet in the next stitch in the next double crochet right here so double crochet on this stitch then skip the next chain one space so skip this one and repeat the pattern double crochet in the next chain one space right here then chain three one two three and then on the post of the double crochet that we just did this one three double crochets on the post so like this one two and three then skip the next chain one space skip this one and double crochet in the next double crochet right here this is what it looks like then skip the next chain one space skip this one and double crochet in the next chain one space repeating the pattern chain three three double crochets on the post on the double crochet post right here one two and three then skip the next chain one space skip this one and double crochet in the next double crochet or the next stitch skip the next chain one space skip this one and repeat the patterns double crochet in the next chain one space chain three one two three and three double crochets on the post one two one two and three then skip the next chain one space and double crochet in the next double crochet. So repeat this pattern across. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the row. I'm here now towards the end of the row. So I just did the three double crochets to continue. Um, skip the next chain one space, double crochet in the next stitch or the next double crochet skip the next chain one space this one and repeat the last pattern double crochet in this in the next chain one space chain three three double crochets on the post right here one two and three now to end this row skip the net on the space right here skip the neck the first chain skip this one and on the next chain do our last double crochet to end row three so this is how to end row three and this is what row three looks like row four chain five one two three four five turn 
skip the, fr the three double crochets. So the first three double crochets right here. So these three double crochets we're going to skip. And then on the next chain three space right here, single crochet on this space like this. Then chain two, double crochet in the next double crochet and the next stitch right here. So double crochet on this stitch. Chain two, skip the next three double crochets right here. And repeat the pattern single crochet on top of or on the chain 3 space. This is what it looks like. Chain 2, double crochet in the next stitch or the next double crochet right here. Chain 2, skip the 3 double crochets and repeat the pattern single crochet in the next chain 3 space. Chain 2, Double crochet in the next stitch. Chain two. Skip the three double crochets and repeat the pattern single crochet on the chain three space. So repeat this pattern across. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the row. I'm here now towards the end of the row. So I just did a double crochet to continue. Chain two. Skip the three double crochets and single crochet on the chain three space. Chain two, double crochet in the next stitch or the next double crochet. Chain two, skip the three double crochets and single crochet on the chain three space. And to end this row, chain two and double crochet on top of the beginning chain three right here. So this is how to end row 4 and this is what row 4 looks like. Row 5, chain 4, turn, Double crochet in the next chain to space right here. Chain one. Double crochet in the next chain to space right here. Chain one and double crochet in the next stitch, which is a double crochet right here. This is what it looks like. Chain one, then repeat the pattern, double crochet in the next chain two space. Chain one, double crochet in the next chain two space. Chain one, and double crochet in the next stitch, which is the double crochet right here. Chain one, then repeat the pattern, double crochet in the next chain two space. Chain one, double crochet in the next chain two space. Right here. Chain one and double crochet in the next stitch. So repeat this pattern across. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the row. I'm here now towards the end of the row. So I just did a double crochet on the double crochet stitch. So to continue, chain one, double crochet in the next chain two space. Chain one, double crochet in the next chain two space. Chain one, double crochet in the next stitch or the double crochet. Chain one, double crochet in the next chain two space. Chain, uh, chain one, Double crochet on the last space right here. Then to end this row, chain one and double crochet on the third chain of the beginning chain five right here. So this is how to end uh, row five and this is what row five looks like.
rows 6 to 18 repeat rows 2 to 5 consecutively so I'm gonna continue my work I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back when I'm done with row 18 to show you the next step and this is now what the piece looks like after row 18 so I'm gonna show you I'm gonna pan this to show you the whole strip so right there and the close-up of the pattern at this point the width is about nine and a half inches and the length is about 52 inches this will be our first panel set this aside and do another panel we need two panels of exactly the same pattern for this project and these are now my two panels of exactly the same pattern so this is laid wrong side up so laid next to each other like this so my last stitch would be right here so this is my last stitch I laid it on the bottom right and then the other panel is the same way the last stitch is in the bottom right then here on the left side I'm going to cl uh, close the gap like this then take our tape measure and from the left I'm going to measure about 25 inches so from the left right here measure about 25 inches and put a marker so 25 inches halfway of this one is 26 inches so I just went one inch down at 25 so that's where I'm going to close the gap so from the marker sew these edges together to close the piece and I'm going to use the long tail this one to close to sew them together using whip stitch and this is now what it looks like after the two edges are sewn together so this is whip stitch right here up to here where the mark uh, where we marked it now I'm going to flip this piece upside down so flip the piece upside down so that the right side will be facing up like this next I'm going to fold the piece in half from the right side like this so that the uh, wrong side will be facing out then switch the view like this so that it would be the front view this is now uh, facing front and from here we can sew the sides so take our tape measure measure from the top about seven inches put a marker on the seven inch mark right here this will be our armhole and then from the marker going down stitch them together to close the sides do the same step on the other side from the top measure about seven inches this will be our armhole and from the marker sew the edges all the way down using whip stitch and this is now what the piece looks like after the sides are sewn together so let me show you this is the armhole so whip stitch also from here close the, the sides are closed using whip stitch all the way down to the bottom right here and the same step on the other side the other armhole and this is what the other side looks like whip stitch all the way down after this we can now um, flip the piece right side out so this is now what the piece looks like right side out so next I'm going to crochet one round of single crochet around the neck around the vest opening right here starting here so going up just to give it a clean finish and to hold the piece the two panels together all the way down here and then I'm going to go around the bottom two so one row of single crochet around and this is now what the piece looks like after crocheting a row of single crochet around the opening so starts here go up around the neck right here and to the other side down and then continue at the corner here three single crochets at the corner 
and then continue at the bottom right there and end up where we started over here. And same with the armholes, one row of single crochet. And at this point, we're done! Weave the ends, clean up the tails, and we're done! And this is now what the piece looks like, all cleaned up and all done! And for the final measurements, from top to bottom, this is about 27 inches, and from side to side, about 19 inches. If you're new to my channel, please check out my other videos. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked this video and please subscribe.